Hey you guys, hope you're having a good Friday. How is everyone? If you pop on here um, watching the recording or watching me live, please give me a hello and let me know that you're here. I have had such an amazing week and um, I've been at, I'm at home today. I'm off today from my nurse practitioner job and I've been kind of trying to decide what I wanted to come on and talk to you about because I wanted to come on and talk to you. I haven't um, been on here live um, to talk about things like I normally have um, in a couple of weeks just because we've had so much going on. Um, last night I posted, or yesterday morning, Um, and so that's kind of something that I've struggled with for a long time. Hi, mom. Um, so, um, it's something that I never have a solution for in all my years of healthcare, 25 years, <laughs> you're folding your clothes. I never even got mine in the wash yet. Um, <laughs> but, um, that's something that I've struggled with for the longest time is, um, and in most of people that are upset and angry about those things um, or are just struggling with health issues, not necessarily angry or upset at anybody, it's because we don't, we, there's never been a way to navigate the world of, um, for your health. Uh, you know, it used to be when um, I was younger that eggs were bad and you should never eat any eggs. And then now we've evolved to this whole carb bashing thing. Um, and gone to the extreme of eliminating all carbs in our diet. There's always something changing. There's always new things coming out. But I feel like um, I've finally reached a point to where I can truly help people to, to get on a healthy path. Um, the last three years, as I have been um, helping people to get on their health and wellness um, path, as I did it myself too, um, there's always kind of been a little bit of a missing link in terms of someone follows a program for 21 days or 30 days or 60 days or 90 days and then when you're done with that program most people will unless they really have gotten into the routine of things will still kind of fall off and maybe gain some of their weight back um, so there's always been that little bit of a missing link is how do you translate this into real life so as I see all these people in my um, daily job that are unhappy, unhealthy, suffering from um, disabilities that are a result of their lifestyle that they most likely just didn't even know how to navigate. Um, how I deal with that is now I have the tools that can help me to um, fill in that missing link and translate what I teach into something that um, people can use to change their mind and live life, traveling, eating out, having family gatherings, going to holiday um, gatherings, and not live with guilt. Um, I know for me, it's kind of always been a thing that as long as I can remember, maybe it wasn't when I was a kid, but as long as I can remember, if you eat dessert, if you eat ice cream, it's always, you always have that lingering in the back of your head that um, this is, I shouldn't be eating this. Um, this is bad, this is gonna mess up my diet. For me, ice cream doesn't sit well, so I don't eat ice cream hardly at all anymore. Um, but I used to love it, and I still love it, but I just don't eat it because I don't wanna be miserable from it. From it. But um, it's still always kind of one of those guilt things. You go to Thanksgiving dinner, and you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna stuff myself, and I'm gonna feel bad later. Um, all it takes is a little bit of a tweak in your mindset and your focus on how you eat, um, having some tools under your belt that help you um, to change this, to change this pattern to where it's not that roller coaster ride in, of your life or a yo yo diet or, you know, you're going to be on this right now so that you can lose this weight and then you're going to go back to how you were eating before. Um, and, you know, once you get to bathing suit season and then we get into winter season, um, you're going to go back to your other way of eating and you're going to gain all the weight back. Um, 
finally there's a solution that will help you with that. So I've been kind of in a really um, exciting place um, the last couple of days as I've learned more about the program that I'm utilizing for this next group that's focused on mindset and focused on our eating. Exercise is not required, exercise is a bonus for this group, um, but I've been really excited because this, now that I know more about it and I'm really learning about the program myself, it's changed the way I look at food. Last night we went out to eat and I had a piece of chocolate pie, that one that I um, posted about this morning if you saw that one. I ate that piece of chocolate pie, I enjoyed it and I did not feel guilty. Um, now that I've kind of tweaked the way I view things and how I'm looking at food and lifestyle and stuff like that. Now, um, one thing I will say is I came home and because that pie had dairy in it and because some of my food had gluten in it, I've been a little bit miserable since then. I've been kind of bloated and, you know, blah from that. Um, so what I have to do is arm myself with extra tools that are um, specific to me and my dietary needs. So um, that's why I made something this morning that I wanted to share with you. Um, this, I can't sh actually share them with you, but I wanted to show you. These are gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. I made these this morning. I ate one. I didn't feel guilty about it. Um, I did my workout this morning. For the most part, I'm eating well today. Um, but these are like little tools that I have that I am going to stick in the freezer. Um, and it'll be a little bit of a sweet treat for me that is made um, in a way that it is healthy ingredients and is going to be something that I can enjoy when I choose to, not because I feel guilty about it. Um, so I hope I am making some form of sense right now, um, but I'm really just very excited because I think that um, our society is always kind of focused on um, just lose the weight, lose the weight, lose the weight, and then go back to the way you ate before. And really that's, um, it's not sustainable. So if you wanna sustain a healthy lifestyle, you've gotta find a way for it to translate into real life. Um, and for me, that's traveling on the road all the time and being at stock shows and um, you know just being busy with kids stuff and then um, my job sending me out on the road. So I hope that makes sense to you. I'm just really excited. It's been a great week. Um, I'm gonna continue to share more about this, but I hope that if you have struggled with yo-yo dieting or kind of trying to find a path on um, what to do to help yourself get to your health goals or your weight loss goals, that you'll consider talking to me because um, this really is like the missing link that most people have been looking for. There's no fad about it. There's nothing um, that's a, a quick fix about it. It is simply learning how to approach your eating and approach life um, and specific to you and your needs, such as gluten-free, um, that you know you can use for your daily life and you can go on without um, feeling guilty about anything that you're eating. So talk to me. Hey, Julie, how are you? Um, so talk to me if you're interested in learning more about that. I think I kind of rambled with this video, so I hope I made some sense. Um, but these are exciting times, so I hope to be able to share that with you too if you have the same um, or similar struggles as most people do with the yo-yo dieting and all of that stuff. All right, um, so y'all have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.